I don't know if this will show it. Keeps fluctuating. But uh, that's well over 700 watts there for a bit. Uh, here we go. Almost. <laughs> well, it was. That said over 7. This was saying about 660 or something like that. And this was well over 7. There we go. Now that's saying 715. As we go closer to spring, get closer to spring, my daily input of power is quite a bit higher now. So, this is the most power I've run through this so far. Let's see what kind of temps we're running. It is a slightly warmer day, still in the negatives, but uh, warmer nonetheless. Got 84. Eighty-five. These are the hottest spots. Now I'm back down to six. Five. Clouds are coming in and out. But uh, so far I'm really liking this inverter. I definitely think I need another one for uh, summertime though. I really don't want to be pushing a thousand watts through that thing. Um, so I can order another. I'm going to have two of these big grid ties and uh, I think that's as far as I'm going to go with my system for a grid tie because uh, I don't want to push too much power into the grid because then my house won't be using it. So here's something new. Producing 691, around 700 watts. It goes up and down. This is only saying 615. But I'm hearing a loud, I don't know if you can hear that, loud pitch hum from this thing, like the beeper's going off. I'm wondering why. This is 92, 93 Fahrenheit. It's not like it's too hot. Shut it off, goes away. Tear it on. Um, I don't know if it's okay for it to do that or not. I hope it's okay. But it uh, doesn't sound good to me. I'm wondering maybe if that's the, the fans just... just Maybe the, it's got a speed controller and the fans are just starting to kick in. I have no idea what that could be. Uh, let's hope she doesn't break. So I found it. It was the fans. There's nothing wrong with it. Fans finally turned on. It starts off with a low voltage and brings it up, which is really dumb for these fans. It's going to make them fail, I think. All I did was I blew at the fans. Uh, and they started spinning and that high pitch beep went away and now it's going to start cooling itself, which I really like because look, it's not even hot and it just turned off. The fans just kicked back out. Cause look at that. Look how fast it cooled that down. 92, it was 95 before. That's crazy. It is extremely, it's like it's really cold outside, so that's why it cooled itself down so fast. But I'm glad uh, that the cooling fans work. This is the first time I've seen them kick in in this weather. And uh, I'm glad that high pitch sound wasn't anything important. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. It helps me out a lot. I just went over 750 watts for a second. Oh, here we go again. That's the most I've put in. And this thing's just taking it like a like a beast. Let's go see if the meter is turning backwards or going uh, forwards. I do have a hot tub, so it takes like a ridiculous power uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, we are going. When the arrow is turning, uh, pushing to the left, I am pushing into the grid. I'm going to the right. I am taking from the grid. And that's what it's saying. I'm putting into the grid. That's after powering everything in my house. And I'm not sure why it says I'm putting over a kilowatt. Uh, I got a text message. <laughs> I'm not sure why it says I'm putting over a kilowatt into the grid because I'm not. Uh, I'm only putting 667 watts in. This one says 745. But uh, that meter always shoots it quite a bit higher than what I'm putting in the grid. So I'm not exactly sure. But it's awesome. Um, paid 260 bucks plus shipping and all that. It came out to be like $300 or something for this inverter. I've had it for I've had it for something like three months. I through the hard winter, I haven't put a whole lot of kilowatts in, but this has counted 47, and I've put seven kilowatts in in the last like two days, so or six kilowatts I mean in the last two days, so that's pretty good. Um, the but up until this point, I was only putting like half a kilowatt in a day at the, at best. Uh, but now we've had some sunny days instead of cloud every day. So it's starting to rack up. Let's see how long this thing lasts, see if it can pay itself off or if it's a waste of money.